Hey everyone, it's Tim here from Snap Attack. Let's tame the three-headed guard dog, Kerberos, in this week's Threat Snapshot. So we're going to be looking at a tool that was released earlier this week, this Curb Relay Up. And as the author describes it, it's a no-fix local privilege escalation for Windows domain environments. Um, said a little bit more plainly, what this can do is if you have a domain user account, it's going to leverage a couple of existing techniques to escalate those privileges to a local administrator or system shell on your machine. Um, again, through the author, what they're doing is, again, they're packaging and wrapping up a couple of existing tools and techniques to make this really easy to use in a single binary. So really cool tool. I think the best way to actually see this in action is to see what this looks like in Snap Attack. So, um, this tool actually is going to run out of like two basic commands, but um, there's a couple of different steps here. So we'll kind of walk you through this setup here. So all we did to actually run this attack, um, so we've got a, a basic Windows 10 machine. We've got a domain controller, again, in the default configurations. Uh, we pulled down the binary from GitHub, and we're going to run that first command in there. This is the relay command. So this is going to do a lot of that setup where it's going to create that local machine account. It's going to set up the LDAP relay, and it's going to also give us this other command for the second phase to, to run. Um, so we can just run that. Um, this is the spawn command. So it's going to um, take that silver ticket that we're going to get, create a um, new service with that silver ticket, and use that to uh, get a system shell. So again, this happened really quickly, um, just shows you how easy it is to use this attack path. Um, good news is this is also highly detectable, um, both on the endpoint as well as the domain controller. So um, let's actually take a little bit of a look and see what we have here. Um, so again, this is our process graph. Um, we can see here the activity on the uh, machine here with this uh, curb relay up. Um, there are definitely some ways that you can detect command line usage and things on here. Um, honestly, I like looking at more of the Windows event logs. Um, they do definitely come up with some uh, better, more higher fidelity detections, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, the, I think most interesting part here is that you know, we can see here that services.exe and that new service that is being created here, again, running in a system high integrity context. So this chain here is pretty common across most um, UAC bypasses and privilege escalation techniques. And that is a highly detectable chain regardless of all the other stuff that was kind of going on down here. Uh, probably wanna talk a little bit about prerequisites and mitigations first. So you'll see a lot of times these, um, these new posts and um, again, these exploit kits are using default configurations um, which again could be in a vulnerable state. So for this one to work, the, the chief thing is that LDAP signing um, cannot be enabled on the domain controller. Um, if LDAP requests were signed, we would not be able to relay those to Kerberos, which is again, really the, the crux of the issue here. Um, some other things that you can do to harden this, um, such as um, setting this machine account quota, which is by um, default 10. Um, this is that step zero here, um, creating a new machine account where if they do have access to it um, or access to one, they wouldn't necessarily need to create a new one. And these really, again, these prerequisites are also the mitigations. So um, you can enforce LDAP signing um, through a group policy um, on your domain controller. So this is the domain controller LDAP server signing requirement GPO that you can set. Um, you can also make this a little bit harder for the attacker by setting that machine account quota to zero. Um, this is a good practice in general um, and also will help uh, reduce some other attack techniques. Um, the other part here is that we're using that local administrator account. We're generating that silver ticket for them. So there is this um, other flag, this um, account is sensitive and cannot be delegated um, that you can use um, either putting them in protected users or setting that on min accounts. Um, so that we can actually create the silver ticket here. So these are definitely the best uh, mitigation strategy and would stop this. Um, if we did want to detect this though, and again, that's kind of our age old question of how do I hunt for this? Um, can take a look at here, a couple different techniques. Um, so again, if you're looking for kind of the basic process creation events, you can definitely see activity for um, curb relay up. Um, again, it's a command line tool. So there's lots of opportunities and things to detect that. Um, again, underlying, I personally like to take a look at um, what Windows events it creates. 
Um, this Windows event uh, 4624 seems to be pretty good where we can look for um, Kerberos login types, again, with our kind of built-in um, RID 500 local administrator account. Um, this one does seem to be very high fidelity and um, high confidence without a lot of false positives. So this would probably be one of the best ways to detect this, again, on the um, endpoint, the local machine. Again, you can also take a look just for unusual Kerberos traffic in general. Um, this is, again, Kerberos running on port 88. And um, typically, again, this is going to be um, used through the LSAS process on Windows. So if any other process is making uh, Kerberos requests, um, this might be something to take a closer look at. So do want to point out that all of these analytics, all of these attacks here are going to be as part of our Snap Attack community. So take a look at the link below in the video. You can check these out um, today and play around with them. Uh, we do also have some additional uh, content for our subscribers where you can see a little bit more on what this looks like from the domain controller side of things, as well as some additional uh, detections for our subscription users. Anyways, hope you learned a lot. Uh, thanks for joining. Um, this is a weekly series, so if you enjoy it, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.